Hey, this is Doug Mann. I want to explain my next project here that I posted on Thingiverse. Uh, that is a pulley reduction system. Um, for me, I'm going to actually use this as a capacitor discharge system. It's triggering a manual uh, relay. Um, all the parts here will be posted and I'll actually put the link below the video so that you can download this project. It's something that you want to do for yourself. Um, so this is what I'm using for the project. It's actually going to uh, be running off one of my pulse motors and at the end here the cam is going to trigger the uh, the, uh, the the relay here. I'll have a piece of metal that actually comes off of the end and uh, this flexible so that it'll come into contact with the uh, the cam again and it'll it'll activate that switch. You can use it for whatever you want though. It is a good project that you can learn uh, learn about gearing uh, with pulleys and um, you know if you want to do something for like a classroom project uh, this will work great for that. Um, included on both the top and bottom you've got holes there that you can use to mine it to a project board however you want to mine them. I'm using the same bolts that I use for all my other projects the 6x32. Um, for the wheels instead of 3 8 inch long uh, you want to go half inch and for the the tops and the bottom for uh, the box here uh, three quarters is what I use. The uh, the holes um, that on the actual uprights here they go all the way um, near the bottom uh, that's so so that if you want to drill holes into your shaft and put pins through them so they don't work free um, you can do that on one side or both sides. Um, I'm not going to do it at all uh, just because it's a lot easier for me to remove them if I want to uh, to do some maintenance with it. I mean, they fit really tight so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, as far as preparing um, the holes for each of the spots, um, I actually use, um, I went and bought from Lowe's the, uh, the tap the, for the 632 that I tapped out each of the holes um, as well as you know the box and the wheels. As far as preparing the holes for your 8mm rod, just like I do my motors, I always put the rod in the end of the drill and I slide them in that way uh, with the drill running. It heats it up a little bit, but it makes it a good flush fit prior to putting everything together. As far as the rubber bands, I bought those from uh, the packaging company. It's either Uline or Uline, um, and I just cut them to the, uh, the, the widths the long way that I need. This one here is an average size wide rubber band that you can buy at an office supply store and uh, that one actually goes to the uh, the, the motor pulley. Um, the motor pulley is just a press fit and it fits really tight so I, there's no need for for uh, any um, set bolts or anything and um, if you want to you can can uh, you can sand the, the end and you can put some glue in it if you want it you know to make sure it stays still but this is without any glue it doesn't move it's really hard to put on there um, as far as the skateboard wheels that I've got on the inside of these this is a three-part deal um, you've got caps on both sides and on the inside your, your skateboard wheel fits in there I use 53 millimeter uh, skateboard wheels the particular one I've got I'm sure you can find it online but uh, any 53 millimeter wheel should fit in between there the relay that I'm using, um, this one, uh, there's quite a few places that sell this, either on eBay, I believe it's a, a Chinese uh, relay. Um, it claims it handles up to 80 amps, but I'm sure that's AC. It may be somewhere around 50 amps or so. So you could put, probably put several of these in parallel and have one, um, one piece of metal that triggers all of them if you've got a really big system. Uh, but this is the piece here that I made uh, 3D printed and uh, that file will be included if you want to use this for a capacitor discharge. Um, I'm going to use it to run in between an energizer um, and the, uh, the motor. And uh, the, the uh, power that I've got in, in my capacitors will go back to the, uh, the run battery. Um, but that's what I'm using. I'll put the link in the actual description of each of the uh, items that I have. But if you can see that, that's the, uh, the model number that I've got here for, for that particular print. That is it. If anybody has any, any questions, uh, feel free to, to post in the comment section below in the Thingiverse or on the, uh, the YouTube site. Thank you.